Here we are, Reed. Here's your chain papers. You make up some face. Here's a good go and you can do them. Oh, yeah, I'll drop everything. Do it straight away. He's a bit tattered, aren't he? Yeah, well. You've seen a bit of service, he has. Yeah, blimey. Cool. Many's a the time he's a flown proudly across this street, King George V. When he come to the throne, his coronation, his jubilee, King George VI, when he come to the throne, his coronation. Did you fly him when Edward abdicated? <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> oh, may she the queen, when she come to the throne, and afford that, her wedding. Here, I thought we had more than this. Why don't you get a couple of toilet rolls? <laughs> Shut up, will you? That's just an idea. Yeah, you can buy different colours now, red and blue. <laughs> I don't care what bloody colours you can buy them. I am not having toilet paper slung across this street. Well, I mean, it's only paper. No, it's only paper, but there's some people would not like to see toilet paper slung across this street. Same as says some people don't like hooligans like him slinging toilet paper on football pitches. I don't know why you want to bother decorate the street for anyway. It's only Princess Anne who's getting married, isn't it? But she's only a woman. She's got, she's got no status or anything, does she? Eh? <coughs> Her uh, two young brothers mean more she does, because they're princes and not princesses. That's why they're not fussy who she marries. What are you talking about, not fussy? Well, they couldn't be fun, they? Letting her marry him. Poor man's Harvey Smith. Lord! <laughs> He's only a jockey, isn't he? <laughs> what are you talking about, a jockey? Not a very good one, either. What's the other one? He ain't a jockey! Well, show jump. Same thing, what's the difference? Ain't the same thing. I call blimey, he's a soldier in the army. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? What's that supposed to mean, that's it? Yeah, well, I mean, it's an old custom of the aristocracy, isn't it? I mean, any of their kids that are not all together, you know, retarded, you know, vouch up, well, they always bung them in the army. <laughs> or the church. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, sonny. His family ain't aristocracy, because his dad's in sausages. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something else, mate. Yeah. If they had one like you, they'd have him put down at birth. <laughs> Look, no one intelligent goes in the army anymore. Not unless there's a war on. Well, if they're intelligent, that's even more reason for not going in, isn't it? Yeah, right. I mean, you don't get any Einsteins in the army, do you? Hey, uh, and you don't get any Rothschilds or Rockefellers or Lou Grades in the church, either. No. <laughs> not unless they can be Pope. Yeah, well, I mean, Pope's not top job no more, is it? Pope's rich. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah. Jesus saves, but the Pope invests. <laughs> Down one day, Michael. By the way, you're going to use this. Well, blimey, that's just Christmas cream. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I thought if you put some red, white, and blue on it. Look, it's it's not hardly apt, is it? I mean, it was a royal birth. I know that. But it's not hardly appropriate, is it? I mean, he was a Jew too, and all. You shut up. I was knocking, was I? He was Jesus Christ. There's no need to bring his religion into it, is there? <laughs> religion into it. He was a Jew. He was king of the Jews. And he started the Christian religious in, in the Jewish ghetto in the Arab quarter of Bethlehem. All right, look, he might have started off as a Jew, grant you that, but he soon see the error of his way. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't the only convert to the Christian faith, Rita. No, but I bet he was the most important. Most important? Christ Almighty was a son of God, he was. <laughs> Here we are. Here's the flag. There it is. Hey, why don't you get a pole and fly out the back of the house? Because I'm going to fly this out the front of the house, Sonny. No, no, but I mean all the time. You know, I'll learn the bugle and you can raise it in the morning and load it at night. <laughs> all right, Sonny, When that flag flew round the world and struck terror in the hearts of our enemies, we was a better nation. Yeah, we were better off. Of course we was. Here, oh, look. Look at that. England for the cup. God <laughs> Do you remember that 1966 yeah, when we yeah. won that World Cup? And now them bloody Poles come over here and knocked us out of it, and that's the thanks we get for going to war in 1939 to save us. Marvellous, really, because that, that's your bloody communist, isn't it? Eh? I mean, how can you have a World Cup without England in it? It's a laughing stock without bloody England in it, isn't it? Yeah, of course. 
I mean, you'd rather us, though. You'd rather us be humiliated, wouldn't you? I would. You'd rather us be poor, wouldn't you? You'd rather us go round like the poor relations, bloody cap in hand. We're a bloody great empire we had once, and a bloody good football team and all. Did his bloody Labour Party give it all away? Do <laughs> <laughs> like be a communist, you know? I mean, they can have empires, can't they? can have bloody football teams. Look what your Russians have got. They've got, they got Poland, they've got... Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, got Red Star, Belgrade, you name it, mate, they bloody well got it, yeah. <laughs> bloody great empire we had. Empire, yeah, because it's all right for the Russians. Don't mind them having empire. They turned us from the British Empire into a Commonwealth of Nations. <laughs> Commonwealth? What bloody wealth do we get out of it? That's what I like to know. We got more wealth out of it when we was a bloody empire. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, Paul? Hey, what are you talking about, Paul? It's only the working class in this country that's poor, mate. Hey, yeah, right. The upper class have never had it so good. Hey, they've never been richer. Who's going to take the credit for that then? Your bloody Labour Party? No, 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 mate. Your Tory party greed. I mean, God bless me. Look at that centre point. Hey, yeah. I mean, huh. well, that's an example of how to run a country, isn't it? Hey, yeah. a fella can make more money uh, keeping that place empty than getting people to live in it. Yeah, well, I can see that. I mean, I'd make more money out that room of yours upstairs if you didn't bloody well live in it. <laughs> <laughs> You can't have an argument with him without him getting personal. Listen, mate, we pay a fair rent for that room. Pay a fair to us? Well, it ain't fair to us for a start off, is it? I mean, let's face it, what's in there? Hey, there's nothing in there except the bed. And she had that before I married her. I mean, come on, there's nothing in there except what we put in it. That's not much, Michael. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't eat much, do we? No, because you're always bloody well down here. Oh, bloody hell, we've got to sit somewhere, haven't you we? Know, I wouldn't mind having somewhere to sit at all. Oh. We pay rent, that. Yeah. One pound fifty a week, Rita. For one titchy little room. And the use of this titchy little room, and the telly, and the light. And my beer. And my cleaning and tidying. Well, I'm mucking on some of that. Yeah, I know. And anyway, we pay a quid a week for the use of this room, you know. For the use of the television and the light and the eating things. One pound a week for two people, my dear. I'm gone, I'm gone. One people, one people. Yeah, but she was always here. Is that what I pay? <laughs> is that what I pay? Isn't it bloody marvellous, isn't it, eh? Well, all I can say is, oh, when my lad grows up and gets married, he picks a better father in all than I bloody do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think... well, I'll tell you something, though. If he gets a wife like mine, mate, hey, he'll learn to put up with the rest, won't he? Yeah, well, I hope he strikes lucky like yeah. you did, sonny. I hope he finds yourself a girl whose father's got a house. Because he won't be able to live with you, that's for sure. Because <laughs> I ain't having a live here, that's why. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you move out and make room for him, I ain't. Where the bloody will sit, I ain't. Well, don't you worry, mate. I'll tell you what, we'll probably have a place of our own in a couple of years. Yeah, a place yeah. of your own. Yeah. Well, yeah, because if you think I'm going to live in this... What? What? Yeah, I won't say. You bloody better not. Yeah, I know, yeah. Hey, listen. How you had her, you know? I'll never know. I mean, she's beautiful, isn't she? Hey, I suppose it takes after a man, though, eh? You know what they say? They say a daughter's everything her mother used to be. I know, but, I mean, she favours her mother, doesn't she? No, you do. I mean, look, it's the end on the shoulders, isn't it? God. I mean, it's uncanny, the likeness, you know? I mean, the likeness is uncanny, I'm telling you. And thank Christ for that, because if she looked like him, bloody hell, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Well, she wasn't bloody well here, neither. There. <laughs> They'll put you in a bloody loony bin, I will. I'm going out of power. I thought you ain't got no money. I'll buy the phone money. No, that's the stay there, we said. No. no that's the stay there, we all agree. No, I'm just going to... That's to stay there till the phone is due. Look, I know that. I mean, everyone starts borrowing that. Look, I know. Well, we won't know where we are. I know, but... The phone will be due. Look, I agree with you. And the box will be empty. You're right. You're we right. all agree. Yeah, I, it was my idea, wasn't it? Well, then. Well, then, all I want to do is borrow 50p. Well, I mean, once one starts... No, write it down. Write it down. I owe the box 50p. <laughs> <laughs> That's empty. I had it. <laughs> it's no good you looking at me like that. Well, no one's supposed to touch it, we say. Well, it was that or no dinner. And if you want me to manage on what you give me, you've got to give me more. In it, marvellous, eh? In it, marvellous. You make a rule and everybody bloody will break it. You was going to break it. God, I can't even have a drink now. You work hard all day. Not today, it's Sunday. Can't even have a bloody drink. Well, do you?
your liver good enough having a drink. Ah, come here, I'll buy you a drink. Where'd you get money for to buy me drinks? Well, you never had none this morning, I'd lend you the fare, go down the lane. All right, don't worry, I got money. I borrowed some of mum. <laughs> here, just a minute, where'd you get money to lend him? Out my ass keeping. But you said you, you said you could manage. Well, I couldn't, not after lending Michael. That's why I borrowed the phone money. <laughs> bloody fair, and it bloody marvellous. I'm the Tory, ain't I? I'm the one everybody attacks. I'm the bloody competitors, and I'm pouring everyone else. <laughs> I'm the only one in this house who ain't got the bloody money. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> That interview with Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips will be shown again on BBC Two tomorrow night at 10.30. Nice, wasn't they? Ah, dull, I thought it was, dull. Me too. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, I mean, up in Liverpool, you're used to different stand in a conversation altogether, aren't you? <laughs> I just thought it was very ordinary. I mean, for what they're supposed to be, I thought it was very ordinary. Oh, of course. I mean, they're just your ordinary upper-class walls, aren't they? Nothing like what you're used to mingling with up in Liverpool, is it? Me, nowhere near as bright as your average scar smith, was they? You're dull, mate. You're dull. Bloody dull, you are. Oh, they were dull. Daddy. Look, the only one daft on there was that stupid BBC twit with his daft questions. Will she sew his buttons on? Will she do his cooking? Of course she bloody well won't. <laughs> She's got servants to do them for her. Right. Yeah, and he's got a batsman, isn't he? I mean, come on, me. He's office and a gentleman, so he has his own batsman. And it's his... <laughs> bloody laughing. He's a fat, and it's his batsman's job to look after his office and his officer's lady. Well, anyone who's done a bit of service knows that. Don't they talk funny, though? All that one business. <laughs> oh, Where yeah. one's on one's horse with one's boyfriend? And one's boyfriend... <laughs> If one's boyfriend should be allowed to marry one. <laughs> what does the protocol? No! Shut up, you know, it's a, <laughs> that is the proper way of talking, isn't it? It's a pity you don't talk like that all the time. <laughs> ah, don't talk, Jack. Don't you bloody talk, dog. It's something you don't know nothing about, innit? And that's how to talk proper. How to talk proper. Shut up! <laughs> I mean, those people, they've been brought up to talk, and they? Eh? And what they are talking here is your proper Queen's English. The Queen don't talk like that. The Queen don't say, one husband and one. No. <laughs> she uses your, she uses your royal weed, doesn't she? I mean, <laughs> you are the <laughs> People who've been brought up, Sonny, and not bloody well dragged up, see? They have a bit of respect for your English grammar. I mean, they've been... Shut up! <laughs> they, they've been tutored, haven't they? They've been tutored from an early age. To, never to say I and me and my, which is rude. You're all I and me and my, you are. Fetch this, fetch that. Where's my dinner? Where's my clean shirt? Where's my collar? I want this, I want that. Yeah. You don't say, come on, where's one dinner? <laughs> 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 I know that, I know. And one don't talk the way one is supposed to in one's house because everyone in this bloody house is bloody ignorant, I'm calling. <laughs> yeah, it's all off to one pub. Here, where you got the money to drink again tonight? Hey, don't worry, Mater. When one visits one's own pub, one's allowed to put one's drinks down and one's slit. <laughs> None of them want to chip in. I've been all down the street, both sides. I mean, you, you think people would be glad of a party, wouldn't you? What's the trouble, Elf? Well, trying to organise a street party. You know, celebrate your royal nuptials. But it seems we've got a street full of bloody Willie Hamiltons here. No, they're not against your hand. It's not that, not her personal. No, but it's a slight on her, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a slight. I mean, how do you think she's going to feel? Slightly. Cool. <laughs> No, I mean, we had a party for her mum, didn't we? Yeah, we had her mum's day. Her mum's day, yeah. You know, Auntie Margaret and that photographer fella. <laughs> <laughs> What's his bloody name? <laughs> anyway, we had a party for them, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, but mind you, times was better then. Beer was cheaper. 
Beer was a bloody sight better than mate, and all. No, don't go on about the beer again, Alfred. No, I don't brew it. All right, fair, I mean, but I can remember the time you bought a pint of beer to see the bloody hop floating in it. Yeah, and you complained about that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You know, I reckon people around here, they don't deserve a royal family, you know? Yeah, and if I had my way, they wouldn't have one either. Right, I serve them bloody all right. See, what they ought to do is, see, people, people who don't support your royal family up to the fullest extent of their help should be disfranchised from them. See, and make a go without. <laughs> go without. Days all for royal holiday. I mean, that one, bloody Shirley Temple here. He only asked for a day off for Yom Kippur and spent it boozing down the Irish club, he did. <laughs> I'm not even getting a day off for the wedding tomorrow. No, but you're taking it, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> it's your royal prerogative, isn't it? I took Yom Kippur off and all. <laughs> As your royal prerogative, to be at home that day by your telly, to watch your royal nuptials. As an Englishman, a loyal Englishman should. I mean, good blimey, in the old days, mate. When they had a royal wedding, you had to watch it. You had to, and if you was caught not watching it, whoa, oh, put your bloody head on it. <laughs> See? When was that? It was Henry's day, wasn't it? Henry, you. Henry, Henry, you. To King Henry. With the wives. They didn't have television in those days. <laughs> and they didn't have. Bloody Willie Hamilton's neither! And they didn't take a day off for young Kipper neither! Don't you what are you talking about? You, you can just shut up! Your bloody beer, mate, and mind your own business. Oh, just a minute, I'll... I've got to have a flag. <laughs> Don't you help, will you? You just bloody stand there! Oh, ah, yeah. you <coughs> lazy git! <coughs> That's better. Here! I hope you're not leaving this here! You just put it down for a rest and we give him a smoke, let him get his breath back. Anyway. <laughs> public highway, innit? Well, it's blocking out all my light. Bloody neighbours. Yes, well, these houses is dark enough, aren't they? The way they are, with well, bloody pianos being stuck up against them. You clean your bloody window, missus, and it wouldn't be so bloody dark in here, would it? I your can't. Come on, come on, I'll move it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll never look what you've done. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I'll dump it back. <laughs> Well, don't bloody stay in it. Go and get him a chair. No, I want to get out. Well, you'll have to wait, won't you? Because she's hurt yourself. I want to get out of the shops. Well, you'll have to bloody well climb over. Oh, man, I'll give you. I'll let her get out of the shops. Come on. Bloody woman. Make me sick. She's always moaning. She's the same ever since she moved into this street. It used to be a decent street, this did once. There's a bit of loyalty, a bit of patriotism for the likes of her bloody well moved in. Now, look at it. So you've got one flag outside of her house. You wouldn't know there was a royal wedding on to look at her house. Yeah. I hope you're not going to be playing that thing all day. That's my business, isn't it? Oh, is it? Well, yeah. my Ron, he's on night duty, see? Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he don't want that row keeping him awake, no. right? No. Well, if I want to play that piano, Mrs., I'll bloody well play it because it's as much my street as your street, isn't it? Oh. More. Yeah, more. More my street. Isn't you've it? lived here longer. Lived here longer, haven't I? And you've lived here a bloody sight too long. Yeah, charming neighbours. And you've got a spark of decency in them, they ain't. Oh, it's you. I thought it was a power car. <laughs> They're just leaving the palace. Come on. Yeah. Oh, what's in it, eh? Look at him. See our royalty driving through the streets of London. Well, with the envy of the world, we are. Oh, ho! Look at them. They're golden coats with armies and horses galloping alongside them. Look at them. The free's cavalry. Oh, I bet they put a fear of God in a bloody mix, they would. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't get married in April, did she? 
dodging tax like some of them. Of course, she had to get married under the Tories, get a decent wedding. Yeah. She'd have got married under his lot, she'd have to get married in the registry office, wouldn't she? <laughs> Here. I see she ain't invited darling Harold today, then. Don't be daft, Dad. Of course he's there. Yeah, well, I ain't seen him. Ted Heath's there. I've seen him. I've heard him and all. <laughs> heard him? Yeah, he's playing the organ, I think. <laughs> I got married in white. Those I shouldn't have. <laughs> he couldn't wait. <laughs> Said it was making him ill waiting. <laughs> I waited for your mum and your mum waited for me. Kept herself pure, she did, your mum. So you say. <laughs> well, you was virgin when I married you, you know you was. You like to think so. <laughs> you never had to sit in a hot bath with a bottle of gin like that. <laughs> well, you got married. We are trying to watch a royal wedding. <laughs> I want to listen to your mucky goings on. <laughs> Bloody hell. There we are, up to our ear old intent. The country going broke and they're wasting all that money. What's it got to do with you? Well, of course it's got to do with me. I'm against that. I don't agree with that way. Oh, you don't agree with that wedding? What would you like them to do? Go and live in sin, not your rest of your modern youth. Ah, look, I'm against the expense, ain't I? No, there's no expense there, Mike. What are you talking about? No expense? I'm mean, bloody hell, you can see the expense, can't you? Oh, look at that. Bloody golden coach with bloody soldiers, eh? Bloody ones on the bloody battalion. There's no expense there. That's all paid for. Well, your soldiers are anyway, whether there's a wedding or not. If I know your soldiers, mate, if they wasn't out on their horses, they'd be back in their pits, scratching their backsides. I used to like soldiers. It's a point, I suppose. And sailors. It's got the royals up in the morning early to do a telly show. <laughs> Never had air force. Yeah, I suppose they'll have flogged that abroad, won't they? Huh? I see the old, old Canterbury working for a change, eh? I often wonder what they do. Will you like. shut up, you scarce <laughs> That girl is doing this country credit today. Marrying a fine, upstanding British lad. One of us. Not one of your foreign royal muck. Like Phil the Greek. Shut up! <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look there, all upright and at attention. Ain't got much choice, has he, in those tight trousers? Shut up! <laughs> At least he's turned up on time to his bloody wedding, isn't he? Not like that scarce kit. Oh, blimey. We had to drive round the church eight times all was waiting for him, didn't we? Eight times. And when he did turn up, he stunk a booze. God, blimey, he's got something to turn up for, hasn't he? Thank you. Oh, no, look, I didn't mean oh, that. I mean, well, blimey. I'd give up all that for you, too. Give up. Yeah. Won't even get up some morning and get a job for her. He wouldn't even give up drinking for me, he wouldn't. Shut up, will you? Look, they're coming down the aisle, wouldn't she, look, though? Yeah. Here, Sid, fill that up for us, will you? Oh, here. Better do one. Look at old Philip there, his tongue's hanging out. <laughs> You'll have to wait to get back to palace, me old son. <laughs> look at him. I feel silly sitting here. <laughs> he looks silly sitting there and all. Well, he said there was going to be a street party. It's a street party, isn't it? Well, where's the rest, then? At work, where they ought to be. Shut up! <laughs> Ain't my fault this bloody street's got no feeling for your royalty, is it? Was famous once <coughs> for parties, this street was. Went on for five days, VJ Day. And for five nights. <laughs> no traffic nor nothing. Someone ought to get that piano going. That'd put a bit of life in the party. Get that going. I can't play. Hey? But it's your idea. You keep on about it. Must have a piano, you say. Got to have a piano. Oh, it's a good instrument. Yeah, but it needs someone to play it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it needs that. Hang on, I'll go and get some lessons. Hey, bloody more, <laughs> We dragged that piano six bloody streets, six bloody streets we dragged that piano. <laughs> and all because of him. Well, I thought it'd be handy. You used to play the piano. No, I can't play. You had lessons. Yeah, well, I was a long time ago. 
Marina. Don't know as I could do it now. Yeah, but I mean, anything will do. Well. Yes, here. Yes, here. That's a good goal. Any, anything will do else. I mean, you know, just get it going, right? I mean, I hear a bit of music, they might all come out and join in, you know what I mean? You know, anything, anything will do else. Can I have a cushion? Yeah, get a cushion, get a cushion. <laughs> come on, that's it. Here. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Where are they going? The armors, isn't it? Yeah. Cruise. Yeah. It won't be cold there, mate. Oh, no, it won't be cold there. Well, I suppose we'd better get that piano back. Yeah. I'm only sorry I can't help you. <laughs> hey? Well, I've done me back, haven't I? Custom of the aristocracy, isn't it? I mean, any of their kids that are not all together, you know, retarded, you know, vouch up, well, they always bung them in the army or the church. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, Sonny. His family ain't aristocracy because his dad's in sausages. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something else, mate. Yeah. If they had one like you, they'd have him put down at birth. <laughs> Look, no one intelligent goes in the army anymore. Not unless there's a war on. Well, if they're intelligent, that's even more reason for not going in, isn't it? Yeah, right. I mean, you don't get any Einsteins in the army, do you? Hey, uh, and you don't get any Rothschilds or Rockefellers or Lou Grades in the church, either. No. <laughs> not unless they can be Pope. Yeah, well, I mean, Pope's not top job no more, is it? Pope's rich. Oh, why? Right, yeah, yeah. Jesus saves, but the Pope invests. Here we are. Here's your flag. There it is. Hey, why don't you get a pole and fly out the back of the house? Because I'm going to fly this out the front of the house, Sonny. No, no, but I mean all the time. You know, I'll learn the bugle and you can raise it in the morning and load it at night. <laughs> oh, right, Look, when that flag flew round the wall and 
struck terror in the hearts of our enemies, we was a better nation. Yeah, we were better off. Of course we was. Here, oh, look. Look at that. England for the cup. God <laughs> Do you remember that 1966 yeah. when we yeah. won that World Cup? And now them bloody Poles come over here and knocked us out of it, and that's the thanks we get for going to war in 1939 to save us. marvellous, isn't it? Because that, that's your bloody communist, isn't it? Eh? I mean, how can you have a World Cup without England? And it's a laughing stock without bloody England, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, you'd rather us, though. You'd rather us be humiliated, wouldn't you? I would. You'd rather us be poor, wouldn't you? You'd rather us go round like the poor relations, bloody cap in hand, with a bloody great... Oh, may she the Queen, when she come to the throne, and afford that, her wedding? Here, I thought we had more than this. Why don't you get a couple of toilet rolls? <laughs> Shut up, will you? That's just an idea. Yeah, you can buy different colours now, red and blue. <laughs> Well, I don't care what bloody colours you can buy them, I am not having toilet paper slung across this street. Well, I mean, it's only paper. No, it's only paper, but there's some people would not like to see toilet paper slung across this street. So I say some people don't like hooligans like him slinging toilet paper on football pitches. I don't know why you want to bother decorate the street for anyway. It's only Princess Annie who's getting married, isn't it? But she's only a woman. She's got, she's got no status or anything, has she? Hey. <coughs> Her two young brothers mean more she does, because they're princes and not princesses. That's why they're not fussy who she marries. What are you talking about, not fussy? Well, they can't be fun, they? Letting her marry him. Poor man's Harvey Smith. Lord! <laughs> Here we are, Reed. Right? Here's your chain papers. You make up some faces, a good girl, and you can do them. Oh, yeah, I'll drop everything, do it straight away. He's a bit tattered, aren't he? Yeah, well. You've seen a bit of service, he has. Yeah. Blimey. Cool. Many's a the time these have flown proudly across this street, King George V. When he come to the throne, his coronation, his jubilee. King George VI, when he come to the throne, his coronation. Did you fly him when Edward abdicated? <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> You'll get struck down one day, Michael. By the way, you're going to use this. Well, blimey, that's this Christmas crib. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I thought, if you put some red, white and blue on it... Look, it's, it's not hardly... Act, is it? I mean... It was a royal birth. I know that. It's not only appropriate, is it? I mean... He was a Jew, too, and all. You shut up. <laughs> I was knocking, was I? He was Jesus Christ. There's no need to bring his religion into it, is there? <laughs> Barbie, don't bring his religion into it. He was a Jew. He was king of the Jews. And he started the Christian religious in, in the Jewish ghetto in the Arab quarter of Bethlehem. All right, look, he might have started off as a Jew, grant you that, but he soon see the error of his ways. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't the only convert to the Christian faith, Richard. <laughs> no, but I bet he was the most important. Most important? Christ Almighty, he was a son of God, he was. 